and welcome to Kicked Play Studio Tutorials. In this series of tutorials, we will discover and explore the Shade 13 applications. Currently, this is professional edition. Um, most of this will apply for other edition. We just few extended options and we look on them what is different. So let's begin by looking first on the interface. It will help us to be a little bit more familiar with the application. So on the top, we have it a menu bar, which have it as usual and standard, the file options. We have it edit options, view, tools, work with mesh, figures, render options, script, the nicely shade support Python script, additional plugins, Windows options, and help menu. Don't worry if we're going a little bit too fast. We'll continue. We come back to these options and we'll use this in course of our tutorials. So below this, we have the layouts. And this is different type of layouts, which is preset. And also you can as well create new custom your layout if you're interested. So let's start from first layout. This have a perspective kind of look. Modeling which is, um, you notice we have a little bit more space, which is um, kind of nice when you have a bigger real estate working. Personally, I like a split view for modeling. And again, you can switch between. And in uh, the split, we have it, it's supported with kind of older version, but again, it's a very standard for most of us, top, front, right, and perspective view. We have a UV edit for the texturing, animations, with uh, now you notice we have an animation timeline on the bottom, rendering, with preview, and other things, and as well work with the skins. How I said before, you can add your custom layout if you need it, and we'll do this in the next um, tutorials as well. So let's go back to the split view. Now on our right side, we have a um, toolbox and we have a tool parameters. With toolbox, we can create modify or work with a part of this as well every time when we select and we're using specific tool you notice right here the tool parameters will apply to the tool we currently selected on the top of our menu right here we have a control bar which help us to manage um, figure windows of the settings and additional options so we can lock to the snap and preview as well as switch different grid of the view. Again, this one's kind of hard when we start looking right now, try to rem remember this. So don't worry about this. Um, when we start working on a project, you will notice we'll start using them often and it will help you to remember some of these options. As well, if you work with the previous different um, 3D applications like Hexagon, 3D, um, Max, Maya, or other ones. Most of this concept is very similar, the kind of 3D standard. Okay, on our right side, we have a browser, and this is a standard object browser. If you work with a Maya, you usually see this browser on your left side as a standard preset. So right here, we have our root, and you can notice, you can see it right here, if you work with a bone system or any other parent-child relations. Below we have an aggregate and this is settings for the camera, light, background, surface or any other options. Um, most of this one we'll start using when we are going with rendering our um, image or animation. On current screen also we have it right here status which display you can notice for our um, cursor position, distance and options that we can select it how we want to display it. Also, you'll notice on the windows, you have it options to expand or the collapse currently toolbox, which is give you ability to maximize your working space. And it's very useful when you start using shortcuts and for example, modeling. You also have it additional windows, which is not here. And for example, like in animations, you have a motion window, which allowed us to create timelines uh, with the keyframes for specific animations. And we also have it, um, image windows where we can preview pre-rendering image the way we want it. 
So this is kind of very fast overview of the um, shade 13. So let's go ahead and start, um, kind of start creating maybe some simple objects and we'll going over those options and see what kind of we have it with our toolbox and toolbox parameters.